A common problem when shooting around water is that you can experience water spots on the lens and when they're big they can really mess up the image and can be extremely difficult to remove. Sometimes you can clone them out but it really depends on the area of detail where they fall. So this shot here has a couple of very light water spots that we can actually remove. So I'll just switch this layer group on and you'll see there that it's effectively been taken away. And then up here we have another one as well. So they don't stand out a huge amount but they are noticeable enough that the image doesn't quite work as well as it should or it could. And with this one here, there it's just gone. And then when we view the image, even zoomed in, you just can't see anything. So we're going to take a look at how to remove these water spots. So I'm just going to delete these two layer groups so that we can start again at the beginning. So I'm going to zoom right in here. And the first thing that we need to do is just select the elliptical marquee tool. And then I'm going to drag a selection around that water spot there. So if you hold down the space bar, you can maintain the shape and then move it around. So you can adjust and then when you release, you can resize and then just get it where you want it to be. So that is looking good. So next up, we need to go to select, select a mask. And here we can refine that selection. So I'm going to set the feather to about six pixels on this image. Generally speaking, it depends on the resolution of your camera. So feathering may need to be anywhere between three, maybe six or seven pixels. Just experiment to see what works best for you. So now I'm just going to take the shift edge all the way over to plus 100. So now we've expanded beyond the size of the water spot. And now I can drag that back to the left until I'm right at the edge. So I've actually gone down to minus 28 there. So once you're happy with that, just hit OK. And there we have our selection. And the first thing we're going to do is use a curves adjustment layer just to bring the brightness down so that this area matches the rest of the surrounding image. So there is our curves adjustment layer and I'm just going to slowly drag it down. And I think that that is roughly about right. I'm going to work slightly quicker than I would normally because it's going to be quite boring just watching me do it as slowly as you need to. So I need to reload that selection and I can do that by left mouse clicking while holding down control on the keyboard on the mask and that reloads the selection. If you're working on a Mac you just need to hold down command and click on the mask. So this time we are going to create a color balance adjustment layer and this will allow us to remove the color casts that have been created. So there is a bit of a dispersion effect going on around the edge, that's something we're going to have to clone out. There's no way around that, but we can improve the color. So I'm going to start with adding blue because I can see there's a bit of a yellow tint and I think five is just about right. And then there is a tiny hint of pink. So I'm going to add an extremely small amount of green. So I think plus one. And then there's still a hint of something red in there. So that must be red. So I'm going to add a touch of cyan and I'm going to go for minus one there. So that's all done and although there's still a ring around there we can just clone that out. So I'm just going to create an empty layer and then I'm going to use the healing brush and I'm going to set the hardness to about 40% and then I can just use the left and right square bracket keys to change the size as I need to. So I'm just going to as carefully as possible sample water from close to that area to try to maintain a natural look to the flow. It's a bit tricky because you have all of these lines and you have to keep following them. So I'm just going to use the eraser tool here just to erase that section there. And then let's just get rid of this area here, which is quite problematic. So there's a tiny amount of blue there. There we go. So if I just come out, it's not as neat as it could or should be 
but that is how you can remove a water spot and they're all slightly different so with the second water spot up here this will require a very similar but slightly different approach so we're going to start off with the marquee tool again and draw a selection around the spot and once again go to select select a mask and I'm going to feather six pixels again shift the edge outwards and then bring it back into the edge so this one it's about there if it's not correct we can actually work on the mask itself and fix that so it's not going to be a problem at all if it's not perfect so let's start again with a curves adjustment layer and we'll just bring down the brightness of that area so it matches the surrounding image so this one needs to be a bit darker than before so there you can see immediately that we've almost removed it just using the curves so i'm just going to reload that selection so once again that was holding down control and left mouse clicking on the layer mask and we're going to go for a color balance adjustment layer for this one i'm just going to add a very small amount of blue so plus two just to take the yellow tint out so We've kind of got rid of most of that problem, but we do have that rainbow ring around the edge. But for this water spot, I'm gonna create that empty layer again. I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to sample from along the horizon and then just put that in there and then just take kind of nondescript areas that kind of blend. Let's take the horizon there and you can see it's very quickly disappearing. Once again, almost invisible, but not quite. There is a bit of a loss of contrast in this one here. So I think we're going to need to add one more layer. So I'm going to load up that selection. And this time I'm going to create a levels adjustment layer. And I'm just going to bring the black point inwards and the white point in a tiny amount. So that now when we zoom in to that image, no water spot there. It's much harder to see when you've worked on something and then come away from it and then here the second water spot has gone as well so that's how to remove minor water spots from your images in photoshop